Well, hello there, Ed fans. I'm back. Well, kind of, sort of. Yeah, two weeks in a row video. That's becoming uh, a rare thing on my channel, but I hope to be able to upload one video each week now once again. Uh, this video is going to be all about the Kalkin Retro Dungeon Retro Gaming Convention. I went over there last Sunday, so I'm popping it online now on Monday. Let's take a look at this convention, and I just want to add, next week I'm going to be at the Tilburg Retro Gaming Burst, Retro Gaming Convention, all day. So, if you're out there, come and say hi. I have a boot out there for my doubles. You know, come and say hi. All the yada yada. Let's take a look at the Kalka Convention, guys. <laughs> Oh. oh! Hey, Ed fans! It's me, Julian. You may remember me from some episodes a while ago. Don't you love Toy Story? Talking about Toy Story, I got a Toy Story for you. The first thing I picked up over at Calica was two amazing items. Uh, lately, I've been drawn to NECA, you know, with the NECA Turtles and the NECA Gremlins, and a buddy of mine called Tom Thanks so much, Tom, for hooking me up with both of these items. Was so kind to, to provide these two items to me. Yeah, I got this really cool bad gremlin from NECA. And I also got the ultimate gremlin over here. Uh, he was over at a convention last week or last month. And he was like, hey, this is over here. You want this? And I was like, heck yeah, I want that one. I uh, already got one. Kind of like this, I think it's Ultimate Stripe, so there's still a couple ones I want to add to the collection, but this one was definitely one I needed. Uh, the back Gremlin, of course, from Gremlins 2, he looks freaking amazing, he's extraordinarily detailed, and yeah, um, just simply amazing is what I'm gonna call this stuff. Uh, yeah, they were uh, about 30 euros each or something, but you know, NECA stuff is always just awesome amazing um now i was over at the convention are there any games i still need here <laughs> uh, uh this is kind of weird we actually never see any turbo graphic systems over here um but yeah this is one so uh i don't know maybe this is one of the uh, elusive french editions ones but I don't think so. I think it's just the American version. Um, yeah, there's a, a small amount was created for the uh, European market in France, I think. And uh, yeah, those are very sought after, but it's not one. But still, it's pretty cool to see one of these actual systems in the box over here. Even some accessories. This box does adapt it to uh, the European yeah. networking chisel. And only people in America are like, oh, we see this every day, but we don't, unfortunately. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it, I, I don't have the games to play on it. Actually, I do have games to play on it. <laughs> I actually do, but uh, yeah. It's a, it's a weird convention today because there's like Virtual Boys everywhere. No Virtual Boy games, but um, yeah. Kind of a weird convention. And... Like I said, there's so much odd stuff out here today. Uh, the convention, it did feel kind of different from other ones, mainly because, well, there was a lot more tiny tables, not a lot of big vendors out there with like, you know, a whole row of just, hey, this is all my stuff. No, it was like multiple standees out there. There's multiple stand holders this time around, so there was a lot more variety out there. Like I said in the little segment before, there's Virtual Boy stuff, there's 
turbo graphics stuff stuff you never even see and even though like most people i was talking to like yeah i've already seen all this i was like i'm actually finding pretty good stuff and i'm gonna show you all the pickups today so stay tuned first up uh, let's talk about this convention this convention mainly for me is a place where we gather with all the other collectors i know there's so many people i want to talk to uh every time calca is happening so that's one thing we're doing today and the first guy that pops up to my stand is actually philip who won one of my giveaway uh prizes so i give him the zelda pack he's happy to receive it and we already had a deal pre-made for a really cool item all right hey guys uh that's philip over there he brought over this big box super metroid for me and he got the uh, Zelda card thing that was one of the giveaways. So yeah, I could finally give it to him over here. I still need to send out the other ones. But yeah, that cool thing. Are you glad to be a winner? Yes, very glad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This is awesome. I actually picked up the big box for Super Metroid. This one has been on my radar for the last two years or something. I was like, I really want to get this big box, but it's pretty expensive but it's also just pretty darn cool and this one's complete uh it comes with a really big manual inside and just you know look at that really giant uh, artwork on the front this thing is freaking amazing so i was very glad to add this one to my super nintendo collection you meet our collectors over there you meet viewers of the show i don't know if they're fans or if they're just you know i think we're all friends over here really um so i, I I don't want to call them like fans of the show or viewers or anything they're my friends really uh they hopped over to my boot and they were so kind to come over and give me some stuff so let's show you the stuff i got from benny uh once again benny thank you so much for this uh this one was an exclusive for the free comic book day by teenage mutant ninja turtles uh kind of like in the style of of the first ones uh, as you can see on the back over here. So that was something I didn't have. It wasn't even on my radar. I didn't know it this existed, but I'm so glad you brought it over and I could have it. Thanks so much, Benny. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I forgot your name <laughs> again. Uh, now this isn't the first time he's given me some cool box stuff, uh, but this is something that wasn't in my Nintendo 64 collection video. Uh, he was like, yeah, you don't have this. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. I don't have this, uh, but thanks so much for bringing it over. Um, this is just a box, I think. Yeah, it's just a box, but I mean, I have the Rumble Pack. Uh, this is the accessory, the Rumble Pack, uh, which, of course, later on, uh, every console had it. You know, the PlayStation 2 had all Rumble Pack stuff. This is where it all came from, from the Nintendo 64. So this is awesome to add this accessory in box to my collection. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, and, well, we're meeting around with the community, we're talking to people, so, you know, I hang out with some of my friends, see what they're picking up, see what they want to pick up, and stuff like that. Let's cut to that. So, Matthew, how was the traffic? Great. Oh, <laughs> more Too than an hour it? to get it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah, it's okay, but... So you just hour. got in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes ago. I did, uh, so you already bought time. stuff? No. Nope. No. no. Rien de Knots. Yeah, man, the knuts. <laughs> Did you bring anyone? Or is uh, it yeah, just you? Yeah, yeah, brought a okay. friend, uh, Jim, but I uh, lost him already. Uh, big Jim. Yeah, big Jim, yeah. Big Jim is <laughs> He's gone. a big Jim. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big Jim. What are you trying to look for today? Some more Mega Drive stuff. Yeah, trying I'm not to sure beef up if, the yeah, collection. Yeah, right? still beefing up the collection. Okay. Well, we'll Address. check back with you a little later then. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, bumped into Pepe Blue and Shredder88 on Instagram. Of Ko Koan. Or, or Koan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got the Pepe Blue uh, yeah, card, which is. Oh, uh, yeah. Business cards of yeah, You can check out his channel, Pepe Blue, or the Kevin Drama channel. <laughs> it should be up soon. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kuhn is a guy who has like a wicked cool Instagram yeah. about turtle stuff. Uh, go check it out. He always has a scoop on most things like those NECA bootlegs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was freaking amazing. Thanks for letting really me cool know about that. Problem. So yeah. what, what brings you guys to uh, the RetroCon today? So uh, I'm here with uh, you the, just big, with the, the question. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 
So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm here with uh, with the Koen, uh, and we are uh, yeah we are uh, in uh, yeah eh? at retro <laughs> gaming <laughs> event. What was the vibe? Yeah, what brings you okay. to the con today? Yeah, so, yeah welcome. Uh, okay, okay, I'll uh, I do, I do, I do. So, what brings you to the convention today? I saw you buying some turtles. Yeah, mainly for toys. Mainly toys. Yeah, mainly toys. Are there any toys to be found over here today? Yeah. You have some? <laughs> you have some. I'm check yeah, them out yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. And I'm here just uh, to, because I'm a very good company and he's my best friend in the whole wide world. Wow. And uh, we love each other. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> eh? That's why we, uh, I'm here. Eh? And look, there is uh, his, uh, his best friend also. His best friend that's uh, also Mike. Me. That's Mike. Hey, Over Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, also our good friend. And uh, So it's all just about... It's bringing just, friends uh, yeah, together, just bringing friends together, eating meat, hot dogs, and eating hot dogs, definitely. and yeah, Healthy just food. that's a plus. Touching each other on the weird places, and yeah, it's so cool to be here. I All right, uh, thanks so much for your input. <laughs> You're also my friend, eh? yeah. Ed. I think he's drunk. Is he drunk? I'm not drunk. Could be from yesterday. Did you buy more? Already, or is it just the one thing? No, I already <laughs> bought some. Uh, Ooh, some Thundercats of, as well. Simpsons. Ooh, Simpsons. Didn't you just sell off all your Simpsons stuff? A couple of years back, yeah, okay. I did. Yeah. All right. Hey. Okay. Well, awesome. Thanks so much, guys, no and uh, enjoy your stay over here. And we're back with Wesley and Dimmy V Gaming on YouTube. On YouTube even. We're here with Dimmy V Gaming on YouTube, but we're on YouTube today. Yeah, awesome. So how are you guys doing today? Doing pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Did you did you buy anything, Dimmy? Yeah, I did buy some stuff, but uh, oh. Ooh, not did, he, did he buy too much? Not, not uh, yet. PlayStation 4 I mostly. still have all my money. <laughs> you still have all your money? Yeah, I didn't buy that, that much that stuff work? actually. Okay, all right. I didn't buy that much stuff. I the bought this the one. find of the day, 3 euros. Okay. For, uh, let me show you. For 3 euros. Okay, that's, a yeah, good that's deal. pretty good. I don't know what it is, but I'm kind of um, into, my, into my PS4 phase right now, so okay. I, I keep buying PS4 stuff. I can't help it. Even though I'm at the retro convention, I can't help myself. I'm buy, <laughs> buying all this PS4 But how many stuff. PS4 games do you already have? 350, something like, something like that. Way too much. Coming from a collector, that's way uh, too much. That's way too much <laughs> games uh, you got there. Yeah. Blue, blue what? what blue Reflection. That? Blue Reflection. Japanese game. Japanese game? Too dark. Never bought this one when it came out. So, what is uh, that? Check it out. Pretty cool. I know nothing about PlayStation stuff and Resident and Evil 7 for the Xbox. Xbox. One. I, I know Resident five Evil. Five euros. Five what? Euros. Five for that? Yeah, one? It was a deal with somebody. So, uh, okay. did you see and the I turtles got... on the table over there? The whole bunch? Yeah, I know, but uh, already got them all. Kuhn already bought the good ones. So, oh. I was too <laughs> nothing late le there. Nothing left for you. No. I thought that might more. Definitely. And I got third birthday for PSP. Mm. Always wanted right. this one, so I'm pretty happy to have this one. Awesome. And awesome. that's all, actually. That's for all. That, for that. But I still but, uh, got some money to spend, so I'm okay. actually I'm looking for a Suko then. At a, Suko de at a, yeah, at a I decent know. price. Really but you already uh, got the second one, right? Uh, yeah, it was the second one I got. I'm, I'm looking oh, for the okay. first one. Yeah. But uh, I've only seen one. Okay. I've only seen one over there, and it's not the original case. Oh, so, uh, okay, yeah. You've got to have the original case. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In that case. There's a third loop over there. Yeah. What did you buy already? So, are you guys enjoying yourself today Always. at the Metro yeah. Gaming Con? Always. Yeah, I'm coming I, along with him. So. If I can buy games, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things you guys should definitely do is check out Dimi V Gaming. Uh, <laughs> we haven't met before, before, you know, Kalka, and we've been talking the past year and a half, like, because we started out at the same time. He's already at like 4,000 subscribers with the stuff he does on his channel. It's also about gaming. Definitely go check it out. Thanks so much for talking to me and giving me insights on how to build my channel, Dimi. It was so fun to meet you in person. I hope we get to do this once again in the near future buddy congratulations on getting that sui code and i knew you were out for that one looking forward trying to get that i i hope to see that in one of your let's plays really soon 
Um, then let's get into some of my pickups, I guess. Then let's talk about some of my pickups, guys. Uh, what other stuff did I pick up today? I picked up one thing I was really proud of, and I wasn't the only guy that picked it up. My buddy Dimmy, uh, Dimitri? Oh, there's so many Dimmies in this video. He also picked it up, yeah. So anyways, Hi, I'm guys. over here with Dimmy. Yes. You might remember him from the Antwerp Comic Con video. Where I stole your Ghostbuster well, toys. You yeah. caught me slipping on them, yeah. <laughs> Especially the brain one, because it was complete. And you got yeah. it. And today, over here at Retro Dungeon in Kalka, he's been buying games. Yeah, I was uh, focusing on the SN S uh, Super Nintendo. SNES. SNES. Yeah, yeah. sorry. But... <laughs> it's okay. So but... this box right here is all the stuff you bought today. I was uh, holy crap! <laughs> I, I didn't buy uh, retro games for uh, like five years because uh, the bubble was on a stop, and I was starting. It was too high price. Yeah, everything. too high price. And now we're starting to see a little decrease in some of the titles. Yeah, but, uh, some loose cartridge. Still, so still I, high stuff. But I, you bought a lot of stuff, yeah. man. So I, I focused uh, on toys for the last five years, and now I, I got the virus again and. I was making short lists okay. for a couple of weeks to, to come to yeah. the convention. But you're going for like fighters and like fun platformers, yeah, platformers mainly beat em ups. And beat em ups, yeah. Okay. I uh, totally. Good games. Totally in uh, beat em up, so uh, maybe we show some games. Yeah, I, uh, show me some bought. games, man. Show me some stuff you got. So that's uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Of course, Doom. Doom. That's supposed to be like a terrible yeah. port, this one. Yeah, but. <laughs> But you wanted it? I yeah. just wanted it in the collection, so... <laughs> and then uh, maybe the heavy hitter of the day, Wild Guns. You got Wild Guns? Yeah, I was looking for this one a long time. I was looking for this one too. Okay, so... And I bought it as well. <laughs> Brothers of Crime now. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a fun game, and uh, it's been on my list for the longest time, and today I got it for 95 which made me go like, nah, I might as well just buy it now. Yeah. Really. But i seen so much gameplay of this game on YouTube and I have to play it today. Yeah, that one and Sunset Riders is yeah. like the two Western shoot 'em ups uh, shooter games that are just so, awesome. They're like Contra a little bit. Mortal Kombat 3. Ooh, some Mortal Kombat action. All right. Well, thanks so, so much, Dimi, for uh, letting us know about your purchases today. <laughs> Did you enjoy it today over at yes. the Retro Gaming Dungeon? Yes. I was uh, also looking for a uh, final fight on the Super Nintendo, but I only find uh, the USA games, but I'm looking for PAL. Okay, so, all right, so you're really focusing for PAL version. Yeah, right. that's but cool. I go to uh, New York within three weeks, Ooh. so maybe I can find there some... There, uh, there should be some stores out there, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, all right. awesome, thanks man. See you guys. See you guys later. My buddy Dimi, he also picked it up, like you can see in the video. Wild Guns. Uh, this game, yeah, like I said just before in the little segment, I wanted this game for so long. On price charting, it's like 150 or something, and the US version is even more expensive. And I got this one for 95 euros. I was like, well, uh, if I'm gonna splurge today, it's gonna be on this game. An amazing rail shooter, or uh, no, gallery type shooter. It's not the same as Sunset Riders. You, it's a gallery type shooter, so you know, you point around the clicky thing and you shoot your stuff. But uh, a very fun game, a very sought after game by, what is it, Capcom or Konami? Oh, it's Titus actually. Okay, I didn't know that. But awesome game, very sought after. Glad to add this one. If you want to play this one, you know, emulate it. Or you can even pick up the new Switch version. <laughs> this was also ported to uh, the PS4. It came out on the PS4 first and lots of people, and I told them, hey, I picked this up today for 35 euros. Um, they were like, yeah, oh, that's way better than the PS4 version, apparently. So, I don't know, I don't own a PS4, so. I, I don't really care, uh, but I wanted to play this game so bad so I bought the Switch version and then like two hours later I come across this one for a great deal at least in my opinion and that's the only opinion that really matters I guess. Um, but yeah, now I have the reloaded version and this one so uh, it's gonna be Wild Guns all the way next month I guess. Um, as we're talking about some Switch pickups I might as well throw this one in too. Um, from Jeffrey. 
I saw this over at his stand. Uh, he always gives me great prices and he was able to knock off 10 euros off of this. Still sealed inside. It's still freaking sealed inside. Um, see that CD is still sealed and stuff like that. Um, from this Fire Emblem Warriors game, the the ultimate edition or limited edition. I don't know what it has been lately, but uh, the big, big box uh, Nintendo Switch games, uh, I've been kind of like splurging on those, trying to get, you know, all the limited editions. But uh, yeah, this was one that was just really catching my eye over at his boot. Jeffrey, thanks so much for this discount and is going straight into collection. And then probably what you've all been waiting for. So we're here with <laughs> Tired Mutty. Yeah. <laughs> Very tired. Uh, did you find anything now? Yeah, I bought... Um, You're checking back in. You didn't see this coming, but I bought uh, Harvest Moon. What is that? Uh, Harvest Moon? Is that like Farmville on Facebook? Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah, on the on a, on a cartridge. I actually played that a lot on Facebook. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah, I was like, I did. I was like go, going home at noon to like harvest uh -huh. stuff. I don't know if it's like that. I don't have Facebook, so I don't know uh, Farmville. No, but we're talking about like 2008. I don't know, yeah, man. Like I, yeah, I never had. But you don't see that one too often. No, this, and uh, when you see it, it's often uh, uh, expensive. You don't, you don't see it often going into my pocket either. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the beer situation over here? Much better than uh, in a Pixel Day. Yeah? Yeah. No lines at all. Take that, Pixel Day. Uh, nice no lines. Ladies, no lines. Yeah, nice ladies. Yeah, nice ladies. Eh, yeah. behind the counter. They uh, they took off the chupacca for you. They took off the chupacca. Oh, they for took me, off uh, the chupacca. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, from uh, Laszlo, I bought uh, a Mighty Max. Mm -hmm. Very cool one with the uh, Cyclops. The does it does it glow in the dark? <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks so, yeah. so much for tuning in with us again, Matthias. Yes. You really make the show. Thank so, you. So, yeah, <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Thanks so much. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably show you guys some of my pickups, and uh, we'll talk later. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care. And good night, America. <laughs> Uh, the guy I was over at with like the really ginormous Nintendo collection, he was of course at the convention. He's also going to be at the Tilbury convention next week, weekend like this Sunday, selling more stuff. Uh, of course I went over there and bought some more stuff, guys. Um, what did I get? The last thing I actually bought over there was this boxed con NES controller. Uh, now this is the European version of the boxed NES controller. Uh, this is the German one, as you can see, it's still got Deutsch marks on it on the back. So this used to be 34.95 Deutsch marks, I guess. Uh, this one is in pretty sick condition. I mean, it has a couple scratches, but it looks like it just came out of a shipping box, really. Um, so that's an amazing add to my NES collection and talking about amazing ads I also added the box for Devil World. I do not yet own the game So I'm out looking for this game. It's a European exclusive It also came out on the Famicom the box isn't in like the best shape. It has some tearing, but These small boxes you're not gonna come across them a lot and the deal I got on this cardboard uh, I was like, yeah, I might as well get it because I'm never gonna be able to buy like uh, a mint or a decent copy version of this. So I'm on the lookout for a cart for that one. Uh, and then there's three more games I just picked up, you know, the boxes for, or actually no, two. Uh, I picked up one for Road Fighter, a Konami uh, road fighting game, uh, also a European exclusive, a PAL exclusive. I think uh, this is just a box and I also got the box for Pugley's, Pugsley's scavenger hunt so yeah uh, the box is in the best condition I mean the front and like all the sides are good there's a tear on the back but I have the game uh, this is the NTSC version so it all worked out I'm pretty glad with this edition and then the last game I added to the collection this one was complete in box but I do already own the game this is one of my childhood favorites on the NES and it's of course Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2 this game is freaking amazing when I just started collecting for the NES I was like I need to get that Chippendale game again I bought Chippendale I was like this is not the game I remember and then I got confronted with, damn dude, you need Chippendale 2, which is 
a lot more expensive. <laughs> and I was like, oh crap, I really have to go find that game now. And now years later, I'm kind of determining which games do I want to get boxed. And the childhood games I really wanted to get uh, boxed again. So Chip and Nail 2 has been, you know, on my list for the longest time. It was one of the games I wanted to get boxed to have like all my childhood games boxed again. And I think I'm just blah blah blahing the whole time over here. But yeah, I'm so glad I could add this one. It's a great game too. It's I, I think it's more difficult than the first one. But uh, yeah, just look at the condition on this little this little number right here. Awesome cartoon, awesome game, awesome memories attached to this one too. So yeah, definitely in my top 10 games. And as you can see, again, I'm just freaking amazed and glad with uh, all the stuff, with all the uh, stuff that I bought today. So yeah, let's take a thumbnail picture over here. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry content hasn't been, you know, of the best quality lately. It's been real busy over at mine, but uh, I'm working on all the Grooze Rock interviews. I'm working on actual Eddie's Retro Geek Out episodes, you know, with all the green, green, green screen stuff and the live hunt thing. So it's coming out and I still have four GoPro adventures I need to edit. There's just a lot of time that I don't have for editing but the stock is there, the stock footage is there, so it's all gonna come out soon. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next week, I promise. See you guys later, bye.